and then he went, get into the room, um, or I'm going to punch you in the face. It first came about me meeting this guy or on a, um, a gay social app. Um, I mean, we had several phone calls. We had arranged for me to go to his house. He got to the point where he said, "You, this is going to happen because if you're not, I will, I will hurt you." I was like, "No, I'm going to go into the living room." And he's like, "No, you're not. Like, why are you going?" I was like, "Because I want to be somewhere separate from you." So I laid in the living room and then all I could hear was these like footsteps coming towards me. And then he went, get into the room um, or I'm going to punch you in the face. I just allowed him just to get his pleasure in and then for me just to unfortunately suffer. You know, I, in my mind, I just thought I just had a really bad experience with a guy. And yeah, I didn't give him my consent, but it was just a really negative experience. For someone to take my power away was degrading. It's upsetting as well, but that is a deep, dark scar that will always be with me and I'll always carry it around with me. I didn't think me being a guy, me being gay, I could experience something like that. I think because it's so heavily focused on female victims and female survivors, that being a male survivor of sexual violence, you know, it's, it's never talked about. Like, if it was talked about as a, as a male perspective as well, I would have so understand this is the situation I'm in, so how I'm gonna deal with it, is I'm gonna call the police. I'm, I was very happy and proud of myself that I was able to go to the police and that I did go to the police. I just felt like a whole lift off my shoulders. I just felt so relieved being able to speak to someone with the authority um, to now go away with what I said and do some action with it. Being put in the same space as a female survivor and being in the same conversation as them, whether you're bi, whether you're, you're gay, whether you're a lesbian, whether you're, you're straight, you know, it, it just needs to be having a conversation. Hopefully being so young and speaking out about it will encourage more people of my generation, but as well as other generations, to make a change and take that power back from those people who unfortunately decided to take it away from them.